Wow, Mikke is not afraid of anything. Blink, Blink, KB, Black Hole. They have the silence. He is probably going to go down, yes. Yeah, Battle Transit. Yeah, they, they blow everything. And they also found Foxy. They go in into the Burrow. Epicenter the Storms are on top. No one, he's not going to be able to live through this. The spin, the Omni Sacker is on top of three of them. Insania, he seems to be the one tanking this, but he has that bonus armor. And now Ramses, they have the vision for this Lincoln's fit. It's not going to allow him to save it. And a great fight for the Sun. Well. He managed to uh, dart pack the lasso as well, which is really unfortunate. 51 SMG Every sacks. single spell which Alliance uses doing absolutely nothing. And now Ramsey's going to deep. Look at that damage. He's just tearing them apart. And saying it just doesn't exist anymore. Tiger as well, taken down. Diebacks on both. Mickey being in chase. Ramsey's is absolutely insane right now. 64 stolen. AJ 17 in permanent. He's in the Get base. In, he doesn't care. He's fountain diving the fountain. Whatever. The GG is called. Alliance. They just get teed up and smacked down by Virtus Pro. There was no hope for them this game. A cataclysmic game for a line. Yeah, they have the song. It's onto all of them. Are they going to buy back on the Empress for it? Four seconds at the press. He just wants to snipe the Roche. Yeah, it's going down to the accident they used to go. But they are empty at the Aegis. Now the Mighty Titans have learned to face the bombs. They have the jewels. It is affected by the Lurch Storm, but there's the Archive for the Scarf Mage. They do lose the Deep Corner. Zai, he's able to get 20 jewel damage from that. They've lost an Argus as well as the Earth Rate. And Argus Iron, he's spawning by himself. Is Silent Stump. Do they really have enough? They charge both from Puppy. He's very low to face the bombs. The Empress on the back lines. He's able to take down two with Yaptal. But he is going to be able to get away from Leo. It looks like they even buy back over here on Puppy. They're going for the chase. Nietzsche, he rolls in, has turned himself into the Earthbreak. He's looking for the kill on the Nogasaren. He's pretty low. Strength Lord, and he does get the Nogasaren. Now they're looking over on Paul Diar. He has no remnants remaining. The Searing Chase is not going up. It holds down Zyper a little bit of a while. But Nietzsche, they get the silence. It is dodged by the Cypher Fist, but they are able to get Oh, so spooky. Ty is going from behind. There's a Blink Dagger. Echo Saber, he has more damage almost than this Raking at this point. Ice Plus will come out. They can't get the Vacuum off. At least an Avalanche going for the Oracle first. They might catch him. Vacuum into nothing though, and Crit is just decimated here. As uh, Liquid, they don't like being messed with. And then murder everyone for that play. Starting with the Dark Sphere now, killing off the Ancient Apparition. Melt the Wraith King. And now goes the last kill here of the team fight. Goodbye, RTZ, a second time. EG, what are you even planning on doing here? 20 seconds until your son comes back in. They kind of caught RNG off guard a little bit there by the looks of it. We weren't really expecting this axe. They yeah, weren't, were they? And uh, last year, it's actually Hex up on the front line there. Great shot, it's not holding him still. Going in deep here, looking for maybe Zai or somebody, but Mone can't really find the target. They're just trying to ignore this clone right now, but they can't really do that. Flyby's getting low. They've got the lasso, we get double lasso onto them both, and Setsu does get the BKB off this time. Flyby dies, which cancels out the lasso onto the Death Prophet. Meanwhile, they found themselves Ancient Apparition. Ancient Apparition on the high ground, they've got no Omni Knight either, and this is bad. This is really bad. All of a sudden, Secret turn this one around. They're trying to go for the Death Prophet as well. She dies, and this is over. They're trying to get the damage up onto mid one right now. The other comes down to him as well. They need to find the damage, they need to get the kill. Mid one flashed up on the high ground. Do they have the damage? Yes, they do. Mid one goes down. He's got the buyback, but they can come back into this one. How do you even defend this one? Is it going on to the death? But she does not have buyback. Death up is dead. Um, it's just Mone and Lana versus the world. Can they make it happen? I really don't think so. Mone trying to fight it up does bring down Yaxor. They're still fighting it up, but they don't have the control and income side as well. Surely this is it. Down goes Yaxor, but again, just buying back. Secret just seems to have so many more resources as Mone tries to take a train out of here. So this one around a beautiful vision onto both they're gonna get the kill onto Azai. are they really doing this are they really holding this long they'll kill off Lanham. he has buyback coming back into this one mole trying to chase down nisha nisha onto the high grab right now the open wind comes out onto him that's what's coming in though he's got the punch where to use it but there's the echo slam and that is gonna hold him still it's a rampage from mole the two-man defense is it real they're trying to pop the bkb they're trying to turn this one around mid one is just a throw up on the high ground right now i'll take a drop in so low inside the snowball buys him the time mole though he's just fighting up finally the lasso comes in zai is back they have the control and mone mone he's still not dead how is this man still alive the life stealer which cannot die finally getting himself back to the high ground the supports are nearly back into this one as life is still just being the manliest of men finally brought down once but he's got the buyback again he can come back in and keep defending this one they haven't even taken the middle lane racks yet he's coming back he's got the range he's saying get off my base i know how strong i am mone is the man who cannot be touched right now and he will chase back team secret time and time again as they push objective half left top being hunted down by Artizi flying crit 
Courier dancing over the top. Oh, and that's not meant to happen. If he gets away, if he gets... Oh my god, he's going to survive. After life, he's wow. got TP. He's out of there. He kills the bloody Courier. TP's home. We're missing kills now. The stop the Sonic Wave, it takes Roach, who's going to get the Aegis? Boxy! He steals the Aegis! And now the Omni Sash is on top of all the Boxy affected by the Aegis. They're going to take the first life of the Rage Pin and Boxy's first life as well. Okay, he's spinning up here. He's used the Omni Sash already on the back line. The Enigma's down, but there's a nice Golem. Boxy's living through it. Nikkei, he has the Healing Ward and the Stolen Golem. The lift over here, the Rage King, he's going to lose his second life. So he's taking down the Rage King. No one, he's in the trees. They know where he is. Yes. You'll set for effects and you're not getting away from this one. Oh, I take that back. Nice blink, but they see him. Oh the stun, God. and they're gonna clear them up. They stole the Roche kill. They stole the Aegis. They stole everything, and they just called GG for the side of VP. Alliance able to take game Beautiful. number one. A lot, like, quite the, he, like, his Sonic, his Sonic Scream or Sonic Wave pushes the entire line of the Virtuous Pro away from the Motion. It also gets the killing blow, so the only person within pickup distance of the Aegis is gonna be the centaur. And so he just grabs the Aegis immediately and there's 4,000 net worth. He has done so well this game. But yet still TNC looking close to pulling it all the way back from where it once was. I would say midway mark when OG had a, an 11,000 net worth lead. Shackle comes out on the onto set we'll see if they can follow it up now they've got the hex as well as the spirit vessel big kid he's gonna be popped by arm now the first strike lands onto set they've got the evil throw from anna to set but is it gonna be enough gabby moving forward they'll get the kill it's gonna be dead he'll buy back immediately the avalanche comes in they've also got the shackle that's gonna lock in anna who's in trouble once again they've got the damage he'll get the kill he's gonna be dead for 100 he'll buy back immediately they've lost nobody outside the tnc cuckoo moving over the fish is gonna stop right jared they've got the silence coming out on his set he just bought back he needs to be careful moving forward he's constantly the avalanche riding on the two tins oh i just throw a little bit longer Cuckoo, he ends up dying, but I'm a fine. He's tops into the damage coming in for Tansy. It's just too much. Gabby ends up dying. He'll buy back immediately. Silence is out. Out of the time. The vision is on through from Jarex. And now the chase is continuing on from GNC. They'll throw the Storm Hammer. They'll get the kill on the top. And they'll go over at Gabby. The Storm Hammer is going to be thrown back from Anna. On to Gabby, who's able to be saved by the Glimmer Cape. OG trying to disengage here is TNC. They want to finish it off now, knowing that these heroes have fought back. Thompson dead for two minutes here with no buyback. The Fissure comes through from Jarex. They'll take out Shashka. And now, TNC, can they get anything else? So, only the TA, Windranger, Shaker, and Ogre still have buyback. All the rest are back. Or Tim's dead. Jam on the deck. OG get one back there. But Armel coming over. Again, you gotta remember this is Seb who just fought back. The traps are gonna come out, the behavior's gonna be popped here by Seb as well as Armel trying to run the burst like this on the board playing. And now Armel will go into the bell, but he's hexed up. He's been spotted. They've got the gem, they've got the kill. Team flies back. He's got the check on the two of these heroes. And now Gabby moving over. Oh, Burl Strike as well as the Storm Hammer. They'll get the kill on the Seb and Anna. They just fought back. They're here for two minutes. And it will be a smoke from EG just to try and break the status quo. Zip in, Rayfire Blast forward, but Kuroki. Is there to save up we? He'll give up his life for the cause, maybe not. The false promise buys some time to jump in with the remnants for the ball lightning out. So Mel is safe, but for how long? Miracle, he clears him up. Fly, no, it's not easy. I keep getting tripped up, but it's the big man, the Wraith King, with reincarnation. Pop, liquid on the charge forward. They've got RP for GH. Doesn't want to use it just yet. Evil geniuses lose two heroes. Look for three. Fly under his tier two. We are. Makes it look easy. Away from the grasp of Liquid, but for how long? Because we are chasing this one, hoping this all will connect and get oh! He's dodged it with the Manta style. He's gonna morph back into Morphling mode. He's surviving! Samel's out of there. No way you're catching this one. There are no oh, buybacks man. from OG except for Jerex, but still. His two allies died. They saw him walk into the jungle. You should have expected that rotation from out. Nonetheless, again, strange. Mid lane. Yang, Ice Puff connects with the Yuan, still chasing, but now Soulbind, but they get the kill. The Soulbind was not there in time, and now they find three kills. The cleave from Yuan just tearing people apart. They might even find Ori, CCNC, trying to find those chains. He does get them split up, being dodged by Yuan. The follow up stun, an ultra kill coming out for Yuan on the Sven, and a full team wipe as well. Oh my god, the It's a go go Power Rangers! We have the shackle oh shot! God. Oh! Oh, you've the got green. him as well. The Green Ranger comes out in style with Kuroki to help out. Samail, I'm going to say it again. You are a greedy boy. Every what is this greed? Like, the play, okay?